All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Swords. Yeah. Very cool. And today, it is um, 53 degrees in Chicagoland area. Like it matters. <laughs> and uh, it feels like spring is finally here. So, had a couple days in the 70s. So, how's everybody doing out there? Excellent. Today, um, I was going to build, but what ended up happening is I had a fit of inspiration and started building uh, in addition, not the actual aquarium, but in addition to an already existing nature mod. So, um, I'm out here at the Falling Water House, the famous, uh, my rendition of the Frank, Frank, I always mess that name up, Frank Lloyd Wright Falling Water, except there's no boulder here, but it's very cool. So, what we are going to do is, that actually exists in the real house, there's going into the water. Nice. So we will head out to the nature center. Look at all those dolphins. I don't know where they come from. So we have, we have this whole complex over here. You can already see what I was working on. Um, this is like a resort. A nature hotel here. We have a waterfall. We have modern house. This is one of my favorites. Then up here, we have the greenhouse with open windows. Um, little farm area. And then over here is the, the uh, learning farm. Very cool. And uh, flower shop sales. But we come in here and this is what used to be a house originally. This used to be the garage and it turned into a nature center. So we will go downstairs and it all interconnects. So, got a little lagoon here, which is really neat. Come in here, if I close the door, and you have a restaurant. This was built a long time ago. And it also has a train station, kitchen, nice, with a waffle maker. The downstairs, real quickly, this goes down here, and here is like the ore museum, so it has all your ores and everything, but then you come down here, and this is the area that we're going to look at, over here, but we might as well look at everything else. So this is an old quarry and cave system. And it comes down here. There's bathrooms, of course. Computer museum. And back here, you have utilities. And the IT room. Servers. Nice. But, it has a full feature home theater. It's sunken, um, sunken seating. Turn off these lights. Real cool. It's all acoustically treated. And you can watch a movie. Very cool. So, that was the... I, I think it was about two years ago that I did that. We come up here. This labyrinth of stairs. 
And then you come out here. Upstairs is a bunch of trees. Oop. You know, I'm just going to fly. It's easier. You come up, you got catwalks all the way around. And you got this big dome. Which is very nice. And of course, there's a waterfall. You got all this down here to look at. It was a pretty wild house, but look at that. And get to that. You go down here and you have the aquarium. Very nicely done with the undersea. And obviously this is a secret passageway to the secret squirrel house underneath here, which got a little entryway. And this is a, this is a really cool house. You get to see under the sea. And I won't sing it for copyright infringement, but look at the whale. It comes right up to the window. You could be working. Look at the whales. Oh, his tail came through the window. Oh, nice. But, <laughs> yeah. How would you like to wake up looking at that? Very nice. Got a full shower. We got a laundry room and dressing room. So it is it is pretty pretty neat. But what we're interested in today is we're going to fly back. Oh, and there's a computer room. This is kind of interesting because you come down here. And this is the the water area. And I, I liked it so much I kept it. But it's kind of neat. Be working working back here in the lab and go down and see the water. So let's go back out here and Oh, there's also secret passageways. Over here, there's also an emergency escape because obviously if something goes horribly wrong, you need to get out. So back by the back bedroom is an emergency escape that leads up to a trap door hidden by grass, which will allow you to um, exit. Somewhere there's a dog. All right. So we will go back here. And I'm going to try to slow down with the with the movements. I think somebody left a, a comment saying, you know, too fast. Over here, this was supposed to be a, um, a bath. There used to be pipes running to it. But now it's going to be a theater room. Cool. Made with the Art Deco mod. And then you got more viewpoints. These fish are sunbathing. We'll leave it at that. So some of the some of the wildlife mods or the the animal mods. Like there's a whale sitting there. Why are you sitting there? He doesn't know. But this is the observation deck. This, when this was a house, this was a kitchen. This was a dining room. So you can either take the elevator down. There it is. Or you can take the uh, spiral staircase. Down here to the first level. 
And this was already existing. I just finished it up a little bit. You get an overview of the area. Unfortunately, I, I was thinking about ideas to close that off. So you have to imagine that this was a quarry and these were cave systems and they were, you know, just reutilized. So I haven't done anything down here and this goes back to that museum. Nice. And the elevator comes up here, but come down to the lower, lower level. Nice. You have a little um, seaweed and kelp aquarium, fish tanks. We got this real cool structure here. And all this is, this is um, home decor large table, which I use for shower, um, everything from shower curtains to glass tables. So it's very nice. And the kelp only grows in sand. So, nice little um, lights. Nice little ad uh, addition. You got an office back here. Little, little kelp, like I said, kelp aquarium. Yeah, of course, for realism. There you go. You got bathrooms. Kind of need them. But then you can come out here and you can sit, you can watch the aquatic wildlife. Look at the little fishy. Hi, Mr. Fishy. How you doing? And then we have some coral displays, another fish tank. Fish are sleeping. But the real cool, the, the whole part, there's a turtle. The whole... The inspiration, like I said in a couple a uh, couple videos ago, was the um, the aquarium in Japan in Okinawa. That had these huge um, underwater areas that a person could be in. So you could see how we have the ceiling here. So you could look up and just be part of the fishies and be part of it. So then we come out here in the water. There's the whales. Without disturbing the house over here, I was trying to think of a way of enclosing this, but it would have to go all the way up to the surface to keep the fish in. So I kind of like this open, open area. We have dolphins, oh, and seagrass. And these are from the X-Ocean mod. Can't remember the, where the kelp comes from. Default sand with kelp and I think this is the aquas mod. But yeah, so there, there it is. But it's kind of neat that I, what I wanted to do is curve the glass, but obviously that didn't happen. The, um, the glass curve will not lend itself to, let's see if I can do something here. So if you try using anything such as this, it creates a water pocket. And that's the only thing I'm, there is a way, but I would have to specially make it to where, oh, hi, how you doing? I would have to specially uh, make a mod, and I believe it's there's a, like a water type 
which these plants use so it allows water to go all the way around it so that, that's something hey the whales are finally here go oh. but this is um this is not a replacement for some more go nice um this is not a replacement for the aquarium i do plan on making a full full uh aquarium build and what i want to do make it you know that that's going to be a, a cool thumbnail Oh, look at that. If I can only get rid of... There we go. There's the thumbnail. Actually. I'm messing things up here. I think that's even better. Okay, so what I want to do, so that's the aquarium, the addition. You can come down here and look at, look at all that. So let's take the elevator up. Because we can. Oh, go. And the whole nice thing is this uses an already existing build. And that train line goes all the way up to the factory and all the way into the city. So here's the garage that we were at. Then you go up. There's secret rooms everywhere. I can't even remember where all this stuff is. We have, um, these are elevators that went... Oh, to the haunted house. This one went... Some of this stuff doesn't exist anymore. This elevator goes up. There was a secret... Where is that? Oh, right there. There's a safe. Cool. TV. Then you go up to the third level and this is the library reading room you got bathrooms with a cool <laughs> ceiling another elevator like I said this is a secret war room very nice because this was this was actually a house This overlooks the properties. There was a fox up on the dome. I tell you one thing though. As a house, this was this was rather cool. Come up here and you have the decking that overlooks overlooks everything. And because it's climate controlled, you can have a palm tree overlooking. There's a lighthouse. So that is the new aquarium addition. Now for, so like I said, this episode, um, I was going to build all of that. And I just, things got real crazy during the week. And I just ended up just adding that on. So there you have it. Here's an overview of the entire area. And these, um, that lighthouse, I really like that lighthouse. Liked it so much that I copied and pasted it somewhere else. Right there. Except for it doesn't have the... Um, the little living quarters. 
so you can see there's a lot of nature and a lot of stuff. Here's the underwater laboratory. I've, I've kind of done this before. But what I want, I have to see where I'm at. Where am I? Okay, this, then across the way here is the, yeah, the diamond house and the castle. The modern castle is over here. But, oh, on the other side of this. So the direction that we want to go and what I want to replicate, let's see. I need to pick up the main road. We have a house is back. Oh, I'm I'm going the right way. That's one of my favorite houses. The um the thing that I want to replicate we go through the downtown area is this circular restaurant over here by the train station. This bad boy. So uh I, I don't, I'm really not looking forward to trying to do that roof again because it'll drive you crazy. But this might be the perfect, perfect building for it in the center. So you have this ring that walk, that goes around here and in the center would be the actual aquarium. There's a stage. So all this inside stuff would be where I would put a huge fish tank. And then, so the fish tank would be rather large. I don't know, I have to, I have to play with it and see. But I think it would be quite doable. And it could also lend itself to, so this ring and so I would probably come up to right here and this ring would go down. So you could have, um, it would extend down for part of the aquarium. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to see how well that would play out. But for now, and it, I'm still searching for a place to put it. Because it's a very large footprint. Before now, um, I will do with that. So this area is all done. The um, the lodge, the the boat there. Wow, forgot about that. There's the lodge. Go back this way. So this world is coming along nicely. Um, yeah. So there's a lot of opportunities. You know, I'm just going to go this way. So this is more or less like a, 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 a catch up video of what I've been doing. There's a penguin. You're my, this is my pet penguin. Cool. I do have this app. So my, my, uh, my daughter went down to, um, the shed aquarium in Chicago. And the, when you buy a, a bracelet, it's one of those, um, mineral or ore bracelets. And when you buy it, it gives you access to an animal that it's following. So I was, my favorite animal was a penguin and it, it's like the penguin that I sponsored or through the, through the, uh, purchase of this bracelet, its name was waterfront and it showed you, uh, how it traveled. I guess it has some kind of sensor on it. 
and the wildlife organizations track it. Well, just for fun, I went into the app and um, it says, oh, waterfront, waterfront's uh, tracker has gone dead. It, it means that either, you know, the battery ran dead on the tracker, they only last a year. And, and since you had so little time with Waterfront, we're allowing you, we're giving you the, <laughs> we're allowing you to track another animal. So I tracked another penguin who doesn't move as much. Waterfront moved. He, th that penguin was all over the place. And it's down in South America. So it's kind of cool, but... Yeah, you know, the first thing that came to my mind is it got eaten. <laughs> so, but then the tracker would have been like in a whale's stomach. I mean, you know, you got to be realistic. But hopefully, Waterfront is doing fine. And um, I can't remember what my new penguin's name is. It's like Murr or something like that. But it's kind of cool, you know. The penguin doesn't know he's being tracked. So there is that. So that is, that is it. I finally did a video under a half hour to go under the water. I'm, I like the way that turned out. I think it's really, I think it's really cool. You know what? That's an excellent photo for, why did it do that? That's an excellent photo for... That's also a cool thumbnail. I just really like how that all came together. Why there piece of meat I don't know I kind of can't go any further this way because there's a cave system under there and there's the tunnel which goes to to the house So there is that. So there you have it. You got this gorgeous view. I could put a wall there, but because all this intermingles. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back out to the falling water house. As you can see, I like building things into the side of, into the side. This actually is the, an extension bedroom for this house here. And I like incorporating stuff into nature. This is one of, this is one of my favorite builds, the falling water. It's not, it's not an exact replica. Of course not, but. It's my rendition of, if I built it, this is how I would make it. So yeah. So I will leave you with this gorgeous shot of, of the scenery, of the bamboo forest. All right, so thank you very much for joining. And, um, until the next episode, goodbye.